Hi, my name is Mike Ward. I'm the Global Director of Content at Informa Pharma Insights. I'm here at the Biotech Showcase, which is a, a meeting that runs alongside the JP Morgan meeting in San Francisco, where all the great and the good, the movers and the shakers of the pharmaceutical and biotech industries meet on an, on an annual basis. Uh, I'm joined now by uh, Peter Van Rooyen, who's the President and CEO of Edico Genome, which is a company that's, well, is a, a in big data. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, now, big data is one of these uh, terms that's bandied around and people got different definitions. You know, to you, what, 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 what is big data? Yeah, so f first of all, thanks for having me here. Um, uh, we're very excited to be part of uh, this uh, conference. And um, to answer your question, big data, especially when, it, when you talk about genomics, genomics is really the big data component of all big data components. There's been an article uh, about um, you know a couple of months ago uh, in the Forbes magazine about the different big data contributors. Uh, so today the biggest is astronomy, then um, second to that is uh, YouTube with all the videos that's being uploaded. Uh, there's Twitter, uh, Facebook, and all these kinds of uh, you know companies that generate a lot of content. But if you consider genomics, genomics uh, one person's whole genome. Uh, consists of a file size of 200 gigabytes. It's basically the size of your uh, laptop, uh, you know, the hard drive of your laptop. So uh, it's projected that in 10 years' time, as more and more people get sequenced, uh, that uh, genomic data will far uh, uh, exceed um, all the other uh, content that's being generated. So the essence of this is that you need uh, a real a dedicated kind of a way to process all of this data. Right. You know, the traditional ways of doing this uh, to have more computers and just uh, throw more CPUs at the problem uh, is really limited. And uh, this is where Edico comes in. We've developed a dedicated processor that can process all of this uh, genomic data. And, uh, you know, for instance, uh, today it takes uh, about a day to do the processing of one old genome. Uh, we do it in less than uh, 25 minutes right. and uh, so we provide technology to really take uh, genomics and healthcare to the next level and you know center that around the big data processing problem. So, so if, if I'm a biotech company and I'm, I'm you know, I decide right, I want to get, I, I, want, I, I, I need to you know, process this information, what is it exactly are you going to be able to provide me? Yeah, so, um, so we've developed this uh, uh, processor over here, we call it Dragon. It's uh, specifically tailored towards uh, genomic data processing. And what we provide is all the variants uh, that's uh, unique to you. So um, in other words, if you have a certain predisposition to uh, certain diseases, um, you know, we provide the information that's actionable, that a pharmaceutical company can take and develop drugs and uh, provide, you know, come up with therapies uh, and solutions uh, to some of those uh, problems that's associated with a specific genetic mutation. Right, so, uh, so I would have the data, I would then put it into... What yeah, so, so as the um, data comes off the sequencing instrument, uh, it streams directly into our um, technology in a server that contains uh, this uh, processor of ours. Uh, the data, we analyze the data and out comes, uh, you know, the unique markers that's associated with uh, your genome. Right. Um, so, and that data can be used then by various different uh, entities like pharmaceutical companies to develop drugs, for instance. So, so okay, so, so, uh, this is one, 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 one process. If I'm a biotech company, do I just need just have to buy one of these? Yeah, I mean, how, how does it work? Absolutely, that's that's the beauty of it. Um, so instead of having a, a whole room full of computers um, with many, um, you know, IT people to maintain all the computers, uh, you know, service the software, the only thing that you need is one of these uh, cards of ours in a server, oh. and um, so it's a very simplified way of doing this. Uh, it's also much faster, cheaper, you know, need less infrastructure, so that's the advantage. And you sort of say it takes 25 minutes then to, to do It takes that. 25 minutes, and you know, the significance of this is, um, you know, if you want to do research and you want to develop new drugs, uh, you can do very fast turnaround time, you can do the analysis of, of the genome, 
you know, run another data set, in fact compare data sets to each other and get to actionable results uh, much quicker as opposed to waiting for a day uh, to get a result. Another good application of this is also AgBio. Um, so for instance, the wheat genome is significantly more complicated and complex than uh, a human genome. Uh, so we have customers that uh, use this, uh, our technology to uh, you know, analyze we genomes and instead of, it literally takes five days to analyze a, a wheat genome in the traditional way with software. With our processor it's uh, just over an hour to do that. Okay, so, so, so what's, what's your business model? I mean, how, how, do, you, how do you make money? I mean, do you just sell, 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 sell the gadget or? No, we, we don't sell the gadget, we lease the gadget. Right. So um, we have a platform as a service business model, right. sort of the trend in software uh, deployment today. Instead of uh, buying the software, you know, you basically have a subscription model and, and that's, that's, how we, uh, how, that's how we structure our business model. Right, and it, therefore, you know, so if one wanted to process lots and lots of genomes really, really quickly, yeah. you'd actually have a, a whole bunch of these, these processes. Is, yeah. that, is that how it works? Yeah, you could uh, conceivably have many, but uh, you know, one of the biggest high throughput sequencing instruments that's out there today is called the Illumina ISIC X10. Yeah. It actually consists of 10 uh, sequencing instruments. Uh, it generates 18,000 genomes per year. Yeah. Our technology, uh, you own, for, with our technology, you only need one of these uh, systems to analyze all of that data and stay uh, up, uh, you know, current with, with the output of the uh, sequencing instrument. Okay, so so I, I, I've, I've made this joke before, but you know, in, it's always in the life sciences industry, they always talk about omics. Yeah. Um, and I've always sort of said the only omics that really counts are economics. Um, so can you sort of say how much you know, how yeah. this how this actually alters the, the economics of, of, yeah. of R&D? Absolutely, so um, so we've estimated that if you were to do this uh, in software over a four year period, if you amortize your cost and rolling out you know, a big data center to cope with all of this data uh, versus using our system, you save in the order of $6 million over a period of four years. So it's really not just the speed, Right. Um, but it's it's certainly also addressing the economics and and, and um, you know the overall ecosystem of, of right. sequencing. So I mean, and there are already people who are sort of providing services to uh, to companies in, in, in this space. So the space. Are you are you you know how compatible is yeah. is, is Dragon with with you know, other other systems? Yeah. So. Um, some of our big customers are genome centers that do sequencing to third parties um, and they're using our uh, technology to uh, analyze the data and for their bioinformatics solution. Right, right, okay. And uh, how long has the company been going? Uh, you know, it's almost, almost to the day our anniversary. We're three years old, still a startup company in the true sense of the word. We're 37 people. Um, but you know we're growing and we have uh, revenue coming in uh, so you know we will probably grow the company in the next year or so uh, to uh, to cope with uh, the revenue that we're generating and will you always be in this space or could you imagine yourselves actually becoming more bio than than, than tech no I, I would say you know uh, you know big thing with a startup is to really stay focused uh, so our focus will always be on bioinformatics. We're providing the informatics platform. We like to think of it as we provide the genomic infrastructure uh, that's necessary to cope with all the data that's being generated by sequencing instruments. So uh, we'll, we'll continue to expand and, and, and develop our, our genomic infrastructure uh, technology. But will you be having sort of strategic alliances with pharmaceutical companies Absolutely. or? Yeah. We, we have a couple of uh, big uh, strategic alliances. Uh, some of those we will uh, be able to uh, talk about more in the coming weeks. All right, so they're secret now, are they? At this point, uh, there's some of them that are uh, under wraps. Right. Uh, some of the partnerships that we've already announced is with the CDC. Right. Uh, you know, obviously there, especially speed and um, you know, accuracy is, is really important. Uh, you know, as people develop, uh, let's say, there's SARS or uh, any of these uh, uh, diseases coming out, we need a solution that can really address that. So, yeah, so one of the partnerships is with CDC and we have uh, quite so, a... So could you characterize, you know, what, what either side of the, of, of the relationship actually sort of is doing? Just so that, you know, our, our viewers then get, can get a sense of 
the kind of relationship they could have with a company like yours? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, I mean, obviously we provide equipment and uh, to, to the CDC, for instance, they analyze the data and then they have their own sort of little bit of a secret source on top to, um, you know, in, uh, uh, interpret the data that we provide them. Uh, but yeah, we, we can work with any number of companies and provide them with a genomics, bio IT genomic infrastructure solution. Right, okay. Well, Peter, thanks very much for, for, for stopping by and uh, explaining what's going Appreciate on. It. Thanks, Thank cheers, you. goodbye.